Hello beginners, this is Bare Bone, basic crochet for beginners or anybody who would like to um to see. I did a video or a tutorial with the um slips showing you the slip stitch and the chain stitch and um the video was very poor quality, even I couldn't see what I was doing. Oh, you know, when I looked at it I could, I really couldn't tell some of the stitches or you know so i'm doing a, i'm redoing it and so um here we go okay i've taken a ball of scrap yarn and um i um and scrap yarn is just basically left over yarn from a skein and um you watch my other videos and i talk about and i talk about the um the yarn um the um, bundle of yarn that comes in the stores online wherever you can get it and um those uh, that's called a skein so i actually i already talked about the skein so um when you get down to it and there's nothing really left this is what you get and it's called scrap yarn and i just made a um, ball out of it um i um i'm going to redo the video for the slip knot and the chain stitch because um, the other video that I made is very blurry. It's, it's just poor quality. I hope this one is going to be better. Okay, so here we go. You're going to take um, your scrap yarn like this. Okay, I'm going to put that all to the side. And you're going to take it and you're going to take the end of it, which is right here. And um, you're going to fold it. You're going to bend it over. Like this, you have enough of the other. You're gonna have kind of a long um, length because um, you're still learning. Normally, I wouldn't have this long of a, a, a length like this, but since I'm showing you and I want you to be able to see it very well, I'm going to um, do this just for tutorial purposes. Make it long, but anyway. So you're gonna take this, take this little end right here, and you're gonna lay it over the other. Um, length of yarn. This this yarn is connected to the the ball of the scrap. Okay, so you um you're gonna do that. Um, you're gonna make this. It's gonna, so now you have like a hole. Now you have like a you know. So now you're gonna try and make it a little smaller. You're gonna try and make it a little smaller to about about this size because I want you to be out. And I want you to um, be able to see what I'm doing. Um, you don't have to make yours that big, but I suggest you do do it the way I'm doing it for right now. Now, you see how this is laying back there after you picked it up? Okay, this is going to stay back there. So let's lay that back down. Pick it. You picked it up, and this little tail thing came along with it, and you're holding it right here. Sorry, and you're holding it right here. So let me lay it back down so you can see it. What you did, go back to where you should have yours at. You should be right here. You should be right here. And this is like a, um, like an X with this short end and then the long end. And right here, there's a middle. Is right here is the middle where I had picked it up a few seconds ago. This part right here. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna place your finger right here and you're gonna hold on to that to that little um part where they join together where they cross and you're going to take this shoulder end you're going to pull it underneath this circle and you're going to get something that looks like this raise it up for you to see it now this right here is what you're going to be working with next so just lay it flat lay it flat okay Hold on to this um, piece right here, this little end piece. Put your finger on that. Okay. Now take your hook. This is this is um, a J10 uh, six millimeter uh, millimeter hook, and um, this is how it looks. Um, J10 six millimeter hook, and I use this size hook for my videos. Um, okay. Now you hold on to this. You take it under there, okay, 
You don't, yeah, you don't go all the way, you, you don't have to go, I'm sorry, you don't go underneath here, and you don't go all the way, all the way through all that stuff. You just kind of hold it right here for a second. Don't do anything, I'll just hold it right there. Now notice, notice, everything is connected. So you ready to do your slip knot, finish off your slip knot. So you're going to take the short end and the long end, and you're going to hold them together, you're going to pinch them. Make sure that, that you, your, um, this does not come off the hook. This is going to be your slip knot. Okay, so now you're going to pull the yarn. Not the hook, pull the yarn. Okay? See that? Now it's, it's, it's a knot. It's a split. It's not just a regular knot. It's a slip knot. It's an adjustable um, knot. But you're going to need that while you crochet for crochet. Then you take the short end and you just pull it tight onto the hook. Now it's up there. Okay, so you're gonna take um okay now you're gonna take take this, you're gonna work only in this area from here to here. This is your working area when you do when you crochet. This right here, this part right here is where you hold your fingers. And then this is the handle back here. And you it just it's just there. Um okay, now um uh, sometimes I like to kind of put this out the way for a minute when it's long like this. And this little, it's little straddler. It's long. Normally, it's shorter than this. But if it's long, I kind of like move it out the way for a minute, so you can you can see what I'm doing. So I'm going to show you how to put it on your um your hands. So you got so you got this hand together. You got the yarn right here in the working area, and you're holding on to where your fingers go. And you, okay, now and now um let me show you. How I do it. I have I have um I have arthritis in my hands. So um there there's certain ways that I hold my yarn um for crocheting, but this is the most this is most most comfortable for me. So I go over my pinky, I go under the next finger, and then I go over the next finger and I go over I go under and over um my index finger. And um that's how I hold my yarn and so then you take your fingers these two your finger and your thumb this finger and this thumb and you hold it like this and you, okay now you're ready to do some chain stitches so you what you're gonna do is you're gonna make sure you stay in this working area when you're doing when you're working but when you're doing the chain when you get ready to do a, a, a chain this is gonna move okay, so, so it's gonna it's, it's gonna move but make sure it doesn't go down here where your fingers are supposed to be. But it can move up and down this shaft um, um, because it's going to have to because you've got yarn over. So yarn over, why? Oh, that is the word for when you do this. Yarn, you, can, you, yarn, you yarn over. This is the word for when you go back and you take the yarn and you yarn over. Okay. Um, you can do it. And so um, that's how you do that. Okay, um, so let's yarn over, and now this is the hook. It's in this hook. So let go ahead and um choke on the hook, and now you've done um one chain stitch. You go back over, you yarn back over, and you grab that yarn, and then you pull it through. Okay, that is another chain stitch. And then you do this one again, you come back through. So now you have three chain stitches. You should be able to see them. There's one, and there's two, and then there's three right here right next to the hook. Okay, this is your chain stitch. You can do as many of these as you like for practice. I suggest you to continue to do them um, and rewind the video and um, practice the chain stitch, practice the slip knot. And um, practice, um, you know, holding the yarn in your um, opposite hand of the hook. Okay, um, well, that's it for now. And um, I am, um, I'm probably going to delete the other video that I did for this, um, just so nobody won't, you know, see that one and get and get confused and not be able to see what's going on. But anyhow, so this is a remake of the slip knot and the chain stitch, and a little bit about the hook. Okay, so the word chain, the abbreviation is CH 
and um, the word stitch, S-T-I-T-C-H, the abbreviation is S-T. So in, 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 in the, um, the terminology of crochet, that is C-H-S-T, and that means chain stitch. Okay? Um, for the slip knot, uh, the word S-L, I mean the word slip um, is abbreviated S-L-P. And um, that is the terminology for it in crochet. Okay, well, um, practice beginners, practice, practice, practice. And um, I'll be back with another video soon. Bye-bye.